By taking in too much mercury, you may be affecting your thyroid and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. How could that possibly be? Well, when you are taking in what's called a haloid group metal, those metals could be things like bromine or bromides. It could be things like chlorine from water or vapors, gas. It could be from mercury as well. There are others, but those are the main ones. Whenever you take those in, you are displacing iodine. And you need iodine in order to make thyroid hormone. Without it, you're not making enough hormone. You can obviously medicate yourself through that, but why not find the underlying root cause? But the other thing that mercury can do is can actually cause inflammation in the thyroid in an immune system attack on the thyroid due to potentially mercury in the tissues. So please do not take an endocrinologist's one-sided viewpoint of saying, oh, it's just genetic, and leave it at that. I always recommend getting to the underlying root cause. If you didn't have Hashimoto's at five years old, why do you have it at 15 or 25 or 35? I know you might have a genetic predisposition to it, just like I do to a rheumatoid arthritis, but it does not mean that you have to have it. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.